Striker Scorpion 82 is now sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards, a card battle game featuring your favourite Citadel miniatures from the 40k universe. Build your army decks, dominate opponents in player versus player action, collect and upgrade cards to fit your strategy, improve their power and unlock unique traits. Choose from all 40k factions, take part in campaigns based on iconic 40k battles, rise to the top of the leaderboard and win glory. Free to download and play, link is in the video description below or on the channel homepage and by using the unique link it helps support the channel. Thanks and enjoy the game. another episode of Warhammer 40,000. It's 2,000 points, Necrons versus Blood Angels. Alright, welcome to this 2,000 points game. Uh, it's Necrons versus Blood Angels here. It's a friendly game, uh, part of our Season 9 battle reports. Uh, but I'm going to run two armies here. So I'm going to run my own Blood Angels experimental list, adding in some new models and units. And then Tom Cove is going to take command of my Necron uh, list here. So two of my armies are going to clash. Uh, Tom Cove, a very competent Necron commander, and he's happy to use my Necrons here against the Blood Angels. So that's the plan. That's what we can do with some of these friendly games, uh, is to pit some armies against each other and, and swap players around with the different armies just to have a bit of fun here and to try out new lists and new ideas uh, and to see... Uh, different combinations take place. It's been a while since my own Necrons have taken on the Blood Angels. It's been a good while, so it's good to see these two armies uh, up against each other once again. So, Blood Angels first of all. I'll just run through the gold level Patreons at this point. Uh, they get the name shouted out at the start of all of our battle reports. They also get a Patreon dice to be used at some point during the game. Uh, so, supporters are Andrew Swan, Chris Heem, Frank Vivecki, Longbow BB, Bob Longboy, Justin Burton, Luke Schwengel, Marcus Anthony, uh, new uh, gold level support here, Dylan Moore, Maxwell Duckles, Michael Fryer, Nathan Scrizzuti, Nicholas Lucas, Paul Cook, Ray Cross, Tyler Summers, and Will Wright. So big thanks to them for their support at gold level. Uh, all those supporting at silver level, I'll call out their names at the end of the game. And a big thanks to those supporting at bronze. Uh, and all the support received on Patreon goes to my local War Games Club SSWG. It's so much appreciated, a chance to help out uh, a local War Games Club. Right, so 2,000 points of Blood Angels. Uh, structure for them is a double patrol, so it's going to cost me two command points for that. Uh, then points being spent also on an extra relic and an extra warlord trait being taken. So eight command points available here uh, for the Blood Angels in this game. HQ choices first of all, to uh, be the Warlord here, uh, Captain, with a jump pack, Thunderhammer and Storm Shield for him, it's Lazarus Stormhammer, Warlord trait is Gift of Foresight, so uh, a number of rerolls available each turn for him, uh, and then the Relic is uh, Icon of the Angel, 6 inch aura, uh, units nearby can reroll their charges just to help out units deep striking in with him, try and make uh, the chances of their charge going ahead more likely. Uh, Librarian Dragnaught next. Just tucked in at the back there with the halberd as, and the Furioso Fist. Uh, so Quickening and Wings of Sanguinis is the two psychic powers for him. Fourth HQ choice is the Sanguinor just here. And then Sanguinor Priest is back but with wings this time. I've taken the old uh, metal wings that came with the Sanguinor uh, and I've glued them onto him and constructed uh, a jump pack uh, there for him. So... I have upgraded him to a Chief Apothecary, 
uh, to make him more efficient at what he does. And, and then that's also granted access to the Warlord trait Selfless Healer as well. Uh, then also getting a relic, it's the Purgatorus. It's from the Space Marine Codex. Uh, pistol, range 18, pistol 3, strength 5, minus 3, and damage 2. So that's the HQ choices for the Blood Angels. Onto troops, need two for the double patrol, so two units of intercessors uh, across here. Uh, two units of five Narc Grades uh, for them. Then onto Elites, I have unit of five Assault Terminators, all equipped with Thunder Hammers and Storm Shields. Then I have a unit of eight Sanguinary Guard, all equipped with the Angelus Bolt Guns and uh, the regular Blades for them. Then... I have on fast attack here a unit of 10 at uh, assault marines uh, with jump packs, bolt pistols and chainsaws for them. Then the new unit here, plasma inceptors, unit of 5 here, the day before them in this game. We'll see how well they do uh, here against the necrons, but uh, fresh off the painting desk with those. Then finally at heavy supports, two bow predators fully equipped here, uh, the twin assault cannon two heavy bolters, a hunter killer missile, and a storm bolter for each of those. That's the list here for the Blood Angels. Uh, just a friendly game, just to give them uh, a chance here to warm up and to experiment with this adjusted list. There's more changes on the way, all being well. We plan to expand my Blood Angels collection uh, here, but the main focus for this force is to see how well they do. The Plasma Incept is their debut here for this game. Tough battle, though, against the Necrons. We'll take a look now and see what the Necrons have in their list. All right, so 2,000 points of Necrons. Tom Covey will take command. Uh, he has experience against this army, and he now runs his own Necron force as well. So he will happily take command uh, of this Xenos force against the Blood Angels. Structure uh, for the Necrons. Again, it's a double patrol. So it's down to 10 command points. Two extra relics being taken. Uh, and then Hand of the Pharaoh being played uh, here on Ramses, uh, giving him the My Will Be Done ability twice in the command phase instead of once. That costs another 2 CP. So six command points available here uh, for the Necrons in this game. So HQ choices, multiple HQ choices for this list. Uh, a Warden, first of all. Uh, I've given him a Relic. It's the Conduit of Stars. It's the improved shooting weapon for him. Uh, then the Overlord. Tachyon Arrow and the Glaive for him. Uh, and then Veil of Darkness uh, Relic, that's the ability for him and an infantry unit nearby to jump uh, at some point during the game. Then uh, the Catacomb Command Barge uh, across here. Uh, so that's Tamin Ra. Uh, Warsive for him, Gore's Cannon, Resurrection Orb as well. Uh, and the Warlord trait is Merciless Tyrants, plus one attack and plus one strength for him. Fourth HQ choice, it's Illuminor Xerus uh, being taken in this list as well. Then onto troops, two units of 20 Necron Warriors. Uh, both squads equip the same, 10 Gauze Flayers uh, and then 10 Gauze Reapers in each squad as well. Then 10 Necron Immortals equipped with Gauze Blasters, so that's all the troops. Uh, then onto Elites. I have the Scorpec Destroyers, unit of six, taking a Plasma Sight to go alongside those as well. Taking the Hex Mark Destroyer, Relic for him is Gauntlet of the Conflagrator, for him. Uh, just an extra shooting ability and the chance to cause some mortal wounds. Fast Attack, it's the Tomb Blades, so a unit of six of those. Uh, all equipped with blade veins, so three plus armor save. Uh, Nebula Scopes, Lignor Cover, and also uh, granting the five plus invulnerable save uh, upgrade for them. As well, particle beamers is their shooting weapon. So that's the units, just two heavy supports now, two canoptic doom stalkers uh, to provide a bit of firepower support for the Necrons as well. This list has done well, uh, but Blood Angels pack a mean punch in close combat, and if they can uh, plan and execute a decent attack from the skies, the Necrons could find themselves in trouble. We'll see. We'll go on to deployment and, and scenario now for this battle. Okay, so we have a scenario. It's been randomly determined uh, for this friendly game. Uh, Overrun is the name of the mission. Uh, so deployment zones look something like this. Uh, we have six objectives on the table. Uh, Blood Angels deploying along this edge, uh, marked by the orange dice, and then across the other side, 
uh, Tom in command of the Necrons, 12 inches in marked by the yellow dice across there. There's six objectives. There's a home objective in the middle for each side. So this one here for the Blood Angels and across the other side, uh, the one for the Necrons, just beyond the containers. And then two on each flank, just close to the deployment zones for each side. So one here on the right for the Blood Angels, one across the other side there for the Necrons. And then over here, this one tucked in there and then just next to the building across there for the sixth objective. Uh, so, domination here for primary objectives, the control of two or more objectives is worth five points at the start of the command phase. All right, then the control of three or more is worth another five points, and if you control more than the opponent, it's worth another five points on top of that. For secondaries, there there is the overrun secondary. You need to clear uh, and hold objectives in the opponent's deployment zone or territory uh, here for this scenario. So if Blood Angels can clear and hold uh, any of those three, uh, then at the start of the next command phase, they're worth a number of points. If you control one, it's worth two. If you control two of the objectives, it's worth three. This is per turn, and then all three is worth five points per turn. So maybe tempting for the Blood Angels if they are hyper-aggressive to clear and hold objectives, but we'll see. We'll let both players decide now on secondaries uh, for this mission. All right, so secondaries have been chosen by both sides. Tom's gone for Purge the Vermin, so that's the clearance of table quarters. Uh, so each table quarter that's been cleared turned to onwards is worth two points. Uh, then raise the banners, uh, there's six objectives on the board, uh, so Tom uh, planning to move the Necron battle line out and start raising those banners to pick up points at the start of each command phase and then assassinate to go after the four characters that the Blood Angels have. As... We have gone for Assassinate as well for the Blood Angels. Uh, deploy Scramblers, secondary being taken, and then engage on all fronts the control uh, of table quarters. So that's secondary is chosen for both sides. Uh, we'll go on to deployment now, start alternating placing units on the board. Just to mention the battle mat and terrain that we're using in this game. So the battle mat is from gamemat.eu. Uh, so 6 by 4 in size. They've marked off the boundary uh, for this game just across there with the barricades. Uh, it rolls out nice and flat. Then we simply put the terrain on top using a mixture of terrain here. So it's Games Workshop terrain uh, here for this ADMEC. Uh, buildings and piping. And then across here, these buildings and the one in the middle. Uh, and the larger containers across there, they're from the industrial terrain set by gamemat.eu as well. Pre-painted, I've just been adding on some of my own colours just to blend them in with my AdMech terrain. But you can check out gamemat.eu for your supplies of battle mats and also pre-painted terrain available from them as well. The link's in the video description below. All right, so deployment's complete for Blood Angels. A lot of reserves, uh, deep striking units for them. So they've finished deploying first. Tom's just finishing off with his Necrons at the moment. Uh, so across here, an Intercessor squad getting ready to move out onto the objective. Uh, same across the other side with this unit here. And then the Bow Predators in the middle. There is the central objective to try and control. But at the same time, the need perhaps to move out to the flanks of these two vehicles. And they are sheltering the Librarian Dreadnought, which is on the board as well. So reserves for the Blood Angels Deep Striking in uh, will be the characters. Lazarus, the Smash, Smash Captain. Uh, the Sanguinor. Uh, the Sanguinary Priests with Wings. And then the Sanguinary Guard. The Assault Marines, uh, which have been kept as a squad of 10 this time, uh, the Plasma Interceptors and then also the Assault Terminators to arrive via Deep Strike as well. So that's deployment done for the Blood Angels. Uh, Tom's almost finished here with the Necrons. We'll go around the other side of the board and see his deployment. Right, so deployment across this side of the board for the Necrons. So two units of Necron Warriors on the right hand side uh, and then Ramses with them. Uh, Luminor Zerus here, Scorpec destroys next to him with the Plasma Sight. Add, and then uh, Tomb Blazers sheltering behind here as well. The line of sight blocking train is pretty good in the centre of the table. Add, and then uh, Hexmark Destroyer is in reserve to turn up at some point, turn two onwards. Add, and then Immortals deploying across here just behind the pipes. Tamra on the left hand side getting ready to swing around. And then the two Canoptic Doom Stalkers uh, to the left. So on the extreme left hand side is this one uh, positioned here, which Tom's placed them. Last, I take it they've got a clear view over and above the buildings. You can see uh, the bow predators across the other side. So that is deployment complete now for both sides. All right, so deployment's complete. We'll go on to the first turn of the game. It's a straight roll off here, whether it will be Imperium that goes first or Xenos Scum. Tom's taken the orange dice, he's got them over there. I feel very privileged that you let me use them. Uh, yes, no, they've been rolling very badly recently, so you're welcome to, time, <laughs> to time, use them. Time to time. Uh, so I'm going to use the red dice here. 
stained with the blood of the enemies of the emperor. So Tom's going to use, you're going to use a Patreon. It's Bob, Bob Long Boy, Bob right? Long. Okay, gets the result that you need. And it's the result that you need, may not be the result that you want, but Bob Long Boy will guide you to victory. I am Xenos Scum, so. Yep. It's a one, That's Bob. the second one in the right from Bob Long Boy. He says, let the Blood Angels go first. Yes, they will. We've rolled a five. So turn one will go to the Blood Angels. It will be the Imperium that will make the first move here in this game. We're saying it's a friendly matchup, but uh, I think that concept will go out the window <laughs> as soon as the game gets going. We're going to turn one now. Uh, Blood Angels will go first. So movement complete for the Blood Angels on turn one. So a regular move here from these intercessors moving on to the objective. Uh, they've been joined by the uh, one of the Bell Predators here on this flank. Getting ourselves just to in range 24 as of the Canoptic Doomstalk. We're going to try and let off an effective volley at that this turn if we can. Librarian Dragonauts advanced just one inch but moved up uh, behind the two vehicles. This one's moved around the corner here. And again, just in range 24 to let off a volley against the Necrons, the Necron Warriors. And then across here, regular move uh, with these intercessors on this flank onto the objective. So movement complete. Uh, ju just to say, my uh, command protocol for this turn is the protocol of the Sudden Void. Yes. So, um, it's either plus one move, or I can do an action um, and still shoot. And things like that, so I'm going to do the action and still shoot. Yes, because you have raised the banners. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's fine. Right. So movement's complete. Uh, psychic phase. We'll give it a miss. Not going to activate any powers this turn. So we'll go straight on to shooting phase next. Okay. So we'll start with the bow predator here. I've been criticised for taking these in the list, but we'll fire nonetheless. So this is Mr. Longlegs. Yes. This is Mrs. Longlegs. So, Ugh. which one you fire into, Mr. Longlegs? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll kill him first. <laughs> so, this is a twin assault can. Paid the points with a storm bolter. Could make all the difference. And we'll fire the hunter killer as well. And then we'll also fire all the heavy bolter shots. The Dacker's not too bad from this thing, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. So, we're going to go for uh, threes. This is with the twin assault cannon. Uh, Force to wound, because. Uh, it's toughness six. Uh, it's devastated doctrine. Doesn't matter because Tom will take the invon save. Five invon saves are four plus to start off with. There's 12, 12 wounds to try and get through here. Let's try these Xenos guys out for the first time, shall we? They're pretty good. Uh, yeah, they're awful. <laughs> in the hands, awful. in the hands of the right user. <laughs> four, four wounds taken. Not bad at all. Storm bolter. Two hits. A wound. No minus. Uh, three up so. They failed. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Hunter Killer Missile. 
hits. I do like these red dice. They're pretty good. Threes to wound. Yep, wounded. D6 damage. Going wrong all this time. Oh, Failed. Come on, <laughs> Come on re roll. Uh, how many? I don't even know how many wounds these things have got. What's Twelve. Twelve. You've taken five so taken far. Five. Yeah. So. Um, do they bracket? Like no, but they do bracket, but your uh, weapon skill's not affected. Mm. Or oh, ballistic skill, sorry. So. so it'll fire at fours to hit all the way down to the last wound. But we've uh, got other, we haven't got other shots. There's still heavy bolters at damage two to come through. I will... I know he's going to come on, reroll. He must. I will... I'll let it go through, because you know what? The, from playing you previously um, with those things, they're pretty useless anyway, so... Well... Take this. This is from Maxfield Knuckles. Oh, Max. Four. Four. Oh, pretty good. Well done. That's nine in total, so three wounds left, yeah. and we've got heavy bolter shots to come through. Ooh. So, Bow Predator, actually. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Just need to repeat that roll here. Fives to wound. Ow! Oh, one's come through. Yay! And pass that one. Right, okay, well done. Uh, so, we'll leave it at that, but uh, well done to the Bow Predator. It's three quarters destroyed one of the Canoptic Doomstalkers. So, I'm going to try and finish him off with the uh, Intercessors here. Range 24, three shots each. Need threes. Okay. Looks bad, it's just not too bad. And then fives to wound. We could do it, but it doesn't, doesn't look like it. Uh, so, yeah, that was a five. Whole face, there's no problems. Down to one wound left. Right, okay. So, should be able to finish him off. Were they, were, were they a minus? No minus at all. And no. Three plus or four plus eight? Three up. All right, so I'm down to two. Yes, no, sorry, you yeah. passed two. Yeah, fine. Okay, so two wounds left. I think it makes sense to put the heavy bolters into him. Uh, you just need one to get through. Yeah, I do. Um, and I am going to let loose with the hunter killer as well. I just want to make sure it goes. Uh, and then we'll fire everything else, range 24, uh, down there at the Necron Warriors. But uh, five power's been not too bad for the Blood Angels. Uh, see if the hunter killer can finish it off. Three to wound. No, I'll leave it. I'll save the command point and we'll rely on the heavy bolters. Right, a little bit risky here because we're not going to be guaranteed to destroy this thing. Just the one wound comes through. Oh! Come on, reroll, you can't. Do it, aren't I? Patronic not, help. I'm not being funny, I'm not using that dice for the reroll. I'll go for Andrew Swan. Andrew Swan to save the day. Now, it means you'll let loose a, a, a volley from that thing if you can keep it alive. Andrew, come on! Oh. Right, okay, it lives. And I don't think there's much I can do about it. It's going to survive with two wounds remaining. Ugh, oh, shame. Uh, what if I had command re-rolled that wound on the Hunter Killer Missile? They would have wounded. And then what would, then what would have happened? And then I would have rolled a six. That was okay. And, and all would have been fine. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we'll, we'll fire down the corridor here. Uh, so 12 shots. Into the Necron Warriors. Good deck though from the Bow Predators, they're kicking out a nice rate of fire. And wow, uh, eight wounds at minus two. Sixes? Yeah. No. Eight dead. Uh, Storm Bolter, two hits. And two wounds on a double six. Down to these ones here. Same ones, yeah. Uh, two saves of four plus for them. Our predator is doing well. I may get two more <laughs> for the list. Okay, okay. So two more, do you say? Yes. Four ups. Save one. Okay, so another one slain. So Tom's removed the casualties, and now he can reanimate. So it'll be fives, re-rolling ones. Oh, oh no! What you, is going you can re-roll your ones. What is going on? It's helped a little bit. Three resurrect, but uh, heavy casualties come through. Okay, that's it. Uh, these have no line of sight, no range for any uh, targets, so firepower is complete. That was six Necron Warriors destroyed in the end. Uh, we'll let Tom roll up morale. I don't think there's going to be much of a problem. Uh, it, it just <laughs> rolled a two. It's okay. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, shooting phase is finished. No charges, no assaults take place. Uh, we didn't bring the Canoptic Doomstalker down. It's a shame. But having said that, firepower from the Blood Angels has been pretty good. We'll go on to turn one for the Necrons coming up next. Okay, so on the other side of the board, here for Tom's movement on turn one. Uh, so first of all, the command phase, uh, living metal, one wound restored, back up to three on Mr. Longlegs. Uh, then uh, blessing these with Temra, uh, giving them plus one to the hit rolls. And in that mark there, they were augmented, giving them plus one strength. So not quite the result that Tom was looking for. That came from Illuminor Zerus. Uh, and then Ramses, he's since gone, but he blessed these two units here, giving them plus one to the hit rolls. The Warden's with them. Uh, Illuminor Zerus protected on this objective. So Necron's uh, quite comfortably controlling their two home objectives across here. Immortals have moved through, slowed down a little bit by the pipes, but onto this objective here. And then going aggressive with the Tomb Blades, they have moved out, uh, heading off towards the Blood Angels. Uh, units on this flank, Tamra has joined them as well. And then Veil of Darkness has been used immediately by Tom uh, with the I, Scorpec I Destroyers. I've forgotten that I'm playing uh, your Necrons instead of mine. Uh, they so could, they're super aggressive and then hyper aggressive, yes, because that's the way that's, that's the way Tom plays his Necrons. But it's the right unit you've chosen uh, to go aggressive Only with here. If, I make the charge, is it the right unit? if Tom makes the charge, if the charge goes ahead, so that's the risk here. But uh, Necrons moving out aggressively against the Blood Angels, trying to take advantage uh, of their superior numbers on the board. Movement is complete, no psychic phase, so we'll go straight on to shooting, and there's a fair bit of it out uh, here for the Necrons. So I think Tom's uh, he's going to try and disrupt the Blood Angels' uh, primary objectives as quickly as possible, just to try and uh, gain an immediate advantage in the game. Attack your arrow into the Valprada. Uh, well, may as well. This one? Yeah. Okay. Two's for a hit. Oh, Xenos dice. <laughs> oh, oh Xenos dice. <laughs> now, there is a tactic that you can do, right? You can, which auto, I... Auto wound. Yeah, play uh, Command Reroll that one, and then Stratagem Auto Wound. Um, I'm actually devastated by that, so uh, I'm going to spend a seed. Going to spend a seed because I need to get as much damage on it as possible. Right. And I'm going to call on. Oh, it's the debut. It's Dylan Moore. Yeah. Just signed don't, up here. Don't fail me, Dylan. Don't okay. Fail me. This is Dylan's chance. All he needs is a two plus. Nice introduction roll. Oh. No, it's oh. a one. Oh. Oh, please. Oh dear. <laughs> a simple requirement, but no, it hasn't come through. <laughs> Dylan, come on. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, that went well. Okay. Um, He's too busy jumping across the board, but Tachyon Arrow has fouled here. So we'll fire uh, Tamra. Yes. Into the bow predator. Okay. So three shots of the Ghoul's cannon, needing twos. Okay, okay. Uh, five to wind. Okay. Triple six. That's ridiculous. Um, AP minus. Now you might want to measure that. I don't think it's going to be in half range. Range 24 to 12, 13 and a half inches. No. Nope. No. All right. So uh, it's AP minus three. I'll roll to see if I can get a triple six. You never know. No, nowhere near. Uh, which means it's a 3d3 damage. Almost triple six again. Two sixes and a one. Seven, Seven wounds taken. Ouch. Six wounds left, uh, but taking significant damage so far. Okay, so I am going to fire. Lots of options on this flank. Um, Blood Angels have opened a real can two, of worms here. Two of these into them. A chrome How can many of shots worms. Each? Uh, six shots each. Six shots each. I'm going to fire two of them into them. Mm -hmm. And then the back four into him. Okay. And then I'm going to play, uh, pay the strap for the sixes and mortal wounds. Yes. Um, into the bow predator. Yes. Which okay. Is one CP. Yeah, it's the one that's unique to Mefrit Dynasty. So I'll start with them. So uh, Talent for Annihilation is the name of the strategy. One of my favourites here for playing Mefrit Dynasty. So three sixes would be lovely. There we go. It's got those. Right, it's the immediate three mortal wounds as well as the normal damage. And they're blessed. It's just twos, yeah. And then fives. 
Because what's strength for these, Luke? Oh, I, I actually, I think oh. you're on sixes for wounds will be your mortal wounds. We'll just check the stratagem oh, well, here. That's three, then. Yes, it's wound rolls of six, as well as the normal damage. I'll so take three mortal wounds, plus three eight. and five eights coming through. Not within the shorter range, so it's just going to be no minus on that at all. So I'll take three up armor saves. Five Another five. So yeah, I'm down to one wound left. Ooh. Close, almost. One wound required to finish it off. Six, six and the other one's into your marines. Yeah. Now these will be in, in range, uh, half range here, so it's going to be... Two, four, six, eight, nine. And these will be AP minus one. So it falls. Oh no, disaster. Really bad. Terrible. Three models slain and a wound on another. We are taking a hammering here. Firepower coming in uh, like a torrent from the Necrons. Effective so far. Uh, Bow Predator's almost destroyed uh, and this Intercessor squad in trouble, taking heavy damage. Yeah, Tom's going to fight the Immortals. Uh, ten shots, needing threes. Uh, five to wound. If these make it through, there's trouble. Wow. Oh, one. It's AP minus three, though, that's the problem. So we need a six to survive. <gasps> dum, 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 dum. We'll go to Michael Fryer. Oh, it's a difficult task trying to get a six, but this is what the Patreons are for. For the Emperor. Oh, close. Out of the frying pan and into the fryer. Oh, please do explode. No. Oh. Bow Predator destroyed. Daddy Longlegs is going to go into the Bow Predator. Yes, Revenge of the Daddy Longlegs. It's going to fire across here. Um, I've actually picked Dylan's dice back up to give him another chance, because I think, you know, first first showing, we'll, we'll see what he can do. So it's Fair enough. Uh, D6 shots, is it? Yep. D6 shots, come on. Four. Respectable. Well done. Respectable. Yep, respect and back here for Dylan. Force for hits. Oh, three. three make it through. Two, uh, threes to wound. Going to punch straight through the armour if these make it through. Those two. It's AP minus crazy. AP minus five. Two to six damage. Oh, come on, I know he's going to do it. He's going to pay. I know that I'm not using these very quickly. Chris Heyman, Frank for Fecky. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go. Chris first. Two. Okay. And Frank for Fecky. Five. Seven in total. Decent result. Uh, yes, down to four wins left. Okay, so that's long legs. Uh, Mister has finished firing. Is, is Mrs. going to go after the is same Mrs. target? Is Mrs. is going to do the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so they come as a pair. This is quite important. Um, well, it's not massively important, but it is reasonably important. So I'm going to go back to the Patrons again, actually, um, and go for Justin Burton. Amount of shots with Mrs. Long Legs. Two. Two. Well, oh, and I've got no rerolls. So I just need two fours here, please. No. Oh, no hits coming through. They are uh, they're quite random, those yeah, things. Very, very random. Very random. Two shots uh, with Mrs. Longlegs across here. Just as with the... Yeah, two hits, yeah. Uh, five to wound. One. What makes it through. Uh, that's a failure. So dropping down to three wounds left. That'll put me into the lowest bracket. And then normal range is how far? Yeah, range 27. We're playing Mephrit Dynasty here. So it's plus three inches to the range uh, of the weapons. And then when you get to within half range, it's an extra AP minus one as well. So range 27, the cause flares. Seven shots. Seven shots. There's the off chance they could try and bring a second bow predator down. They've been blessed, yeah. It's twos, now fives. Good roll here will cause trouble. No, two. Two make it through. AP minus one. Double six, past both. Power Predator still alive, but in serious trouble. Shooting phase finished. Yeah, okay, we're going to roll on to charges here. So who's going in first? Um, Scor surely the Scorpec District. No, oh, the fine. Tomb Blades are going to go in. Yeah, just because they're, um, I think, they're a closer. closer. Yeah. yeah, Tom wants to guarantee that the, the unit's shut down and the objective won't be claimed. Because these objectives secured. Oh, uh, yeah, first, just in case. Makes sense. Okay, score back destroyers needing a nine. An eight. A nine. Got it. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Now, would we even bother rolling up the combat? <laughs> yeah, 
in they go. Plasma site was sacrificed, by the way. Tom wanted to make the jump move, couldn't take the plasma site with him. Um, so, Scorpec destroyers have gone by themselves, but uh, it's worked out well here. Tom's going to clear this objective. No. Ramses doesn't make it in. Yes. Um. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking of the command reroll. Yeah, I I uh, I pushed them. And you can tuck them back. That's no problems. Just, yeah, just do your three inches. That's no problem at all. It's a friendly and all that. Oh yes. Um. Till okay. my deep strikers arrive. These guys are going to try and go in anyway. Then. Team blades, here they come. No. Six now. Uh, because they need seven. I mean, they're dead, aren't they? They're going to die. It's just getting some extra movement. Um, but they'll, no, they'll stay there with, okay. with the boss man. So we're going to combat resolution, whether it's worth it here, but we'll let Tom just roll a cluster of dice. Uh, pile and move, I take it, probably going to sit where you will. Yeah, probably I'll want to string in a little bit that. and make sure he gets in. So four will get to attack. Uh, yeah. Tom's doing his attacks. These three are on four attacks each. So looking for threes, re uh, Did you just say I'll kill you? <laughs> you will, re-rolling uh, ones. So terrible. Come on. Ooh, threes to wound. Yeah. They're going to go. I'll roll up here. Six sixes. Blech, destroyed. Okay, and again, I think Tom's going to sit where he is. Happy to just hold position here just yeah. to protect Ramses. Okay, so first turn of the game here as uh, Blood Angels off to a pretty good start. We caused some damage, uh, but in response, the Necrons have gone hyper aggressive and have cleared this flank entirely out of the Blood Angels at the cost of one of the Intercessor squads and uh, a Bow Predator. This one here in a sorry state as well. So heavy damage being taken uh, by the Blood Angels uh, on this first turn. But turn one now comes to an end. Things may really. Yes, things may really start to liven up and the shape of the game could change. Depends if, if uh, the Blood Angels can execute a decent attack and if their charges go ahead, if they do decide to come down on turn two. I think they will. Uh, but we'll just have to see what happens. We'll go on to the second turn of the game. We'll give you a summary first of points so far as, as turn one comes to a close. Yeah, we're both on zero here. Uh, so. Uh, a rapid turn one, really. Both uh, turns have gone along quite quickly. A bit of action. We'll go on to turn two for the Blood Angels uh, coming up next. So we'll see what kind of impact their deep striking units can make. Right, okay. So on movement here for the Blood Angels, but have been rudely interrupted by a, a hunter from hyperspace. Now, uh, this is a move, I've not seen this before, but uh, Tom has done something quite clever here with the Hexmark Destroyer. I'll cover my movement so far, and then you see how the interruption's really causing trouble for the Blood Angels. Uh, here, it's meant to be a friendly game, this one, where Blood Angels just win, because it's the idea, <laughs> but uh, Necrons are causing trouble. So, uh, moving across here with the Dragnaut, regular six-inch move from him. Bowpred is going to sit where he is. Uh, then, I was about to place those, but to can't at the moment and uh, move these back so deploy scramblers with these uh, intercessors on this flank then across here we started our descent then so first was the plasma interceptors setting up nicely within range 18 they're going to let off a volley in that direction within six inches is the captain captain lazarus to grant them the reroll ones uh, and then just as i deployed the sanguinary priest i tucked him in there tom has then brought on the hex mark destroyer to shoot at him but also look at this he's put him there I was planning to drop in my assault units across here, but now Tom's placed that model, which is going to ruin everything. I was going to string Sanguinary Guard, Terminators, and Assault Marines in a nice long line, ready to charge in that direction. But uh, that is a good move. I'll have to bear that in mind for future games. There is a tactical use there for the Hexmark Destroyer when the enemy has multiple deep striking units to arrive. That single model has single-handedly disrupted pretty much the entire Blood Angels battle plan. So you're not going to shoot yet, it's the end of the phase. Uh, I shoot at the end of the phase, but I, I have to follow one of your units on. Yes, so which was him. chose to follow him on. Yeah, fine. How many wounds were they? Uh, they're three wounds each now, the yeah, plasma so interceptors. Yeah, it wouldn't have been worth doing that. He yes. He doesn't have an invulnerable save. He's giving them a feel no pain. 
So oh, yeah. yeah. Just so, in the off chance, yeah. might better pick him off. But uh, the, the main aspect, I think, has been this tactical manoeuvre here, which has disrupted the Blood Angels' plans. We'll go on to... Uh, we'll continue movement here. I, oh, what do I do? The problem is I've got to bring on these units. This, and there's another problem you've created. Lazarus is all on his lonesome now. <laughs> It's gonna, I'm going to struggle. But he can charge me, but then don't I fire a full BS on Overwatch as well? You do, you do, you do. Yeah. All right, we'll press on with a disrupted Blood Angels movement here on turn two. Okay, so pressing on with the movement here. We were planning to spread our units across in this direction, uh, but we've had to tuck right in here, and it's disrupted our targets for charges. But we'll, I've brought the units in anyway to try and uh, press on here, but Tom's uh, saved his gun line mostly. We'll see what happens. Sanguinary Guard have tucked in here. It's still been nine inch charge. One model's just uh, over nine inches away, but it's prevented these two units from getting anywhere near uh, those two units of infantry over there. Uh, then across here, we brought the two units down. So Terminators and then the Assault Marines here to try and all of them are going to try and go after the <laughs> after the Hexmark Destroyer. That's movement done. Uh, the only unit left in reserves now is the Sanguinor waiting to do his own kind of interrupting <laughs> when the time's right. Uh, so you can shoot now, end of phase. Yes. Right, I can let off a volley then. Six shots for this gunslinger from hyperspace. He's going after the Sanguinary Priest. Yes, he can target characters. Yes. And he doesn't suffer any negatives uh, for shooting through the terrain. Yes, of course. So he's hitting on twos. And that was terrible. A quadruple uh, one. Luckily, I'm rerolling ones. So that's all. All hit, nice. Threes to wound at strength six. Not all of them, surely. Oh uh, boy, it's five. five. Ouch. It's minus two. Minus one. Um, uh, minus two from effort, no? Or is it no, no, not. Pistols don't count for that. And you've got to be within half range anyway, so. Oh. Fours. That wasn't as good Do not lose the Sanguinary Priest, otherwise, it's 135 points down the drain. <gasps> We're going to lose three wounds, though. Yeah. I'll get you six up, Puna Pain. We do. Which I'll gladly take. He's almost dead. He is almost dead. He's only a four-wound model. Is he? Yeah. Oh. Ouch. Shame shame three wounds taken. I was going to say, depends if you're still alive, but if you live, you can pick him off on your turn. Oh, you'll, you'll get the charge off. You reckon? Yeah. It's quite important. Because <laughs> that Sanguinary Priest is going to die. Okay, so... Uh, that interrupt's done, that interrupt shooting's done from him. But quite impressive, a useful little unit. And I'm tempted for my own Necron uh, list here that you can see playing. He's trying to squeeze another one of those and have them working as a pair. Even I'm getting tempted now. Not, not, not by the shooting aspect, but more by the, the disruption aspect. Yeah. yeah, and you can bring them in for... You can use them for things like engaging all fronts, uh, line breaker even, you can drop them in. It teleports in and it can give you like an 18-inch buffer as to... Like if your back line move nine up, yeah. and then they can't deploy till nine back. So yes, okay. Yeah, it's a good, good right. So something for the comment section here. For any Necron players that use hex mark destroyers, uh, how do you rate them and how useful they are? Uh, and anyone, anyone wants to leave any comments about them and their use? I've heard a lot of people saying they're no good and they don't take them, but I I like them. If I'd read the rules properly before you had deployed these two, I probably would have deployed it with them. So then nothing could have got, everything would have been much yeah. further back. But it's just early, early twigged, because I've never used it before, early twigged when you were putting the other guy down. No, it's so, a yeah. useful unit. Okay, we'll go on to Blood Angel's Psychic Phase next on turn two. So I'm going to go for the quickening, see if that can go off, which it will on an eight. So that's going to be uh, re-rolling our charges and advance rolls and plus a D3 extra attacks as well. So I may as well go for Smite next, which was going to go off on a nine. D3 mortal wounds, which is three, so it's going to slay a model. So, uh, impressive stuff here from the Librarian Dreadnought. We're going to shooting phase next. So, I'm going to fire the Bow Prez next. It's going to fire down the Necron Warriors, the ones that we know we're not going to reach. Uh, so, we are in our lowest damage bracket here. So, turn to assault count. Needing fives, actually. And in threes. Uh, yeah, so three make it through, uh, minus one on the Necron Warriors. This is going to cross to the ones in the corner. These ones? Yes. Uh, so fives. Two. Block two, well done. Okay, so one model slain. Storm Bolters needing fives, needing four for a wound. Nope. And then Heavy Bolters. One hit. Wound does come through, AP minus one. Uh, five plus. Blocked. Okay, Xenos dice starting to warm up now. Should we get back up? No. Okay. 
So one model slain, but uh, really hurting here with the lower ballistic skill. Bow Predator's firepower is finished. Gonna fire the Purgatorus pistol into the Tomb Blades. Do you want what pistol? It's Purgatorus, it's from Purgatorus. the... Yeah, it's from the Space Marine Codex. Oh. Pistol 3. Uh, needing th fours because it's minus one to team blades. Two make it through. Strength five. Pause to wound. One makes it through. AP minus three. So five plus in one save. Passed. Would have been damaged two. Okay. So I guess, really, it's debut time for the plasma inceptors. So one weapon each. Yeah. I've got two other weapons. Yeah, so we're having a little discussion here about the nature of these uh, plasma inceptor weapons. So they're blast here. The six models are all going to fire into the tomb blades. Luke set me up, you see. He gave all of my units six models so we could do this especially. <laughs> okay. uh, what we reckon here is uh, they're carrying two uh, individual weapons. Yeah. Yeah, so it's D3 shots each. Yeah. We reckon they're going to max out twice. It's going to be six shots from each model because of the size of Tom's unit. 30 shots, pretty tasty. It is tasty. Uh, and I've played, whether it's even worth doing it, but we'll play Fury of the First. They're going to get plus one to the hit rolls, or twos to hit. Uh, then it's going to be minus one. Now it's worth playing it because of the minus one to hit the Tomb Blades. And then re rolling ones because the captain is within range six. Yeah, talking about Fury of the First, it's for Terminators only. Someone had pointed out saying that for Blood Angels, bringing the unit in from Deep Strike, you can uh, give them plus one to the hit rolls. We found it. It's actually a Blood Angels unique stratagem here. It's Descent of Angels. Uh, so one command point. I, it's too late for me now. I can't use it because it's done at the end of the movement phase. Uh, but you choose a Blood Angels core jump pack unit, uh, and then each time you make a charge roll, you can ignore all the modifiers for that charge. And also it gives you plus one to the attack's hit roll, which we take can be... Just, just shooting. Just say that you were going to do it. I would just do it. We're showcasing this new unit, so I'll do it. Okay. Well. You, you let me move my guy back earlier. So. Yes. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, Tom. Then we'll play it. Thank you, you very much. You let me move the guy back half an inch, and I'll let you delete the unit. <laughs> Sounds okay. Let's so we've ban we've brought balance to the force now. Uh, so I'm going to do <laughs> thirty <laughs> thirty shots here. We'll just get these dice ready. One saving grace is our minus one to hit. I spent about four evenings painting them, oh, so... they look great. <laughs> I'm going to let off a decent volley here. So the first model has no ones here, so that's four hits coming through. We're overcharging here, obviously. And I'm going to re-roll this one and keep the model alive. Then we'll take that one away as a miss. And that one is still a hit. Um, minus one to hit. But you're plus one to hit. Yep. Yeah. Point three. Ooh, nice. Triple one. Bit of trouble for this third another model. One, another one. Oh. That's the value of the captain. It's a shame that the minus one doesn't take them down to uh, one. Uh, this unit's pretty. <laughs> pretty nasty. Reroll this one. Right, we've kept all the models alive. And we've got ourselves. 24 hits. We're going to try and wound on threes, coming in at strength eight. Ouch. So the idea of this unit is to, to have assault units arriving on the board, but also to have a unit that can come on and provide some heavy firepower support. It's exactly what they've done here. 18 wounds have come for its damage two. Five plus in one save, this unit is going to be deleted here. Uh, unless Tom can pull out a miracle with the Xenos dice. Ouch. Here from the Blood Angels. Oh, it's a very good roll. It's exceptionally good. Loads of fives and sixes. Look at all those. And those. And that one. But it's damage two, thankfully. Four, six, seven. So not even if I ro ro re rolled. Um, yeah. What did I say again? Close though. Seven. It was, it was close. But they can go. Removed from play. Good shooting. Good debut. Good arrival here. And from the Plasma Inceptors. Good shooting from them. Okay, uh, it's range 18 now with the Angelus Bolt Guns. We're going to fire into the uh, Necron Warrior Squad in the corner. One of them's out of range. So only seven are going to fire. 14 shots, need twos because of airs of a Skeleon. And they're re-rolling ones because of in range of the Captain as well. So they've all hit. Uh, we're on Tactical Doctrines. So it's going to come in at AP minus two if we can get our wounds. Okay, so six. Seven have made it through. Seven saves of six plus. D3 
least enough volleys come through against the Necron Warriors. They're all dead. That's the last of the firepower from them. Uh, so Tom can try and re- that? that was seven. So t- Tom will choose the models to be slain. And then a reanimation roll coming up. Wow. One. Wow. Ouch. Six models slain. Good shooting from uh, the Sanguinary Guard. All right, so shooting phase finished. It has been impressive from the debut unit. We're going to go on to charges next. Number of charges uh, to try and see if they can go ahead. We're going to try and take out the Hexmark Destroyer if we can. There's two units going to go against him. Uh, they're going to try and make contact with the Necron Warriors there in the middle. And then uh, this charge, which should go ahead, no problem, into the Scorpec Destroyers. We'll go on to charges next. This is a, a critical point in the game for the Blood Angels. So here we go. Nine plus one ten inch charge in he goes. Yeah, it's all a learning curve here. Perhaps some people have picked this up in the comment section already. Uh, but it's to do with the Hexmark Destroyer, I presumed he could shoot at characters, but he can't. A bit of a twist. When he arrives in by deep strike, he has to target the unit yeah, that he followed. The unit I then brought units in front of the character, which meant he can't be shot at. So I'm just restore the wounds, no. and you, you wouldn't even have an option to fire anybody else. No. Okay, so the disruption factor still remains. His deployment's fine where he's landed, and it, it's it's uh, to push the Blood Angels back, uh, saving the Necron gun line uh, here, but the damage coming in against the Sanguinary Priest uh, won't go ahead. So we'll remove the wounds from him, and that model is safe for now. We'll press on. Uh, charges uh, still to come. So Sanguinary Guard to go in... Here, I doubt Overwatch here. The qu- okay, see. here comes the charge. <laughs> Need an eight. So we get rerolled charges uh, because they're near the, the Smash Captain. So I we'll reroll the charge. I really need this to go ahead. I'm going to go for a double Patreon to help me out here. Nathan Scrizzuti and Nicholas Lucas. You can feel the the weight of this <laughs> the weight of this roll. <clears throat> so Nathan Scrizzuti first of all. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Now that chant's been banned from the channel because <laughs> how effective it is. Four. Oh, so I need a four plus. Um. With Nicholas Lucas. There's a real chance to be a hero, Nicholas. Oh, no. oh. oh no. <laughs> Ten inch, ten inch, eleven inch charge. The golden boys are going to swarm in here against the chrome cowboys. <laughs> All right, Tom senses trouble here. The Golden Boy is going in against the Necron Warriors. Possibility of uh, causing... Well, they'll cause trouble for them, and then the possibility, perhaps, of tapping in on the left-hand side as well. But then again, the Warden's nearby, so he will... Uh, yeah, I've been on the receiving end of this before. They're all dead. <clears throat> okay, moving on to the next charge. Uh, we'll try and send in the Terminators here against the Hexmark Destroyer. So we kept the captain where he is, just to grant the re-rolls for now. So no, and then we'll re-roll. 10, 11 inch charge. Terminators are going to smash into the hex mark. Okay, so in they go. Uh, we'll try and send the assault marines in next. And it's re-rollable because again they're in range of the captain. No, they do not. Alright, so the assault marines will stay exactly where they are. So the last charge uh, will be Lazarus. We'll try and send him in uh, to join the... Yes, to try and join the Sanguinary Guard, which he does, 10 inch charge, he's going in. So charge has gone ahead, it's gone well for Blood Angels, multiple charges have been successful, we'll try and think now about where to fight first, I think we must fight the Librarian Dreadnought, can't leave him to face off against these Scorpec Destroyers, so we're going to do this combat first of all. So these are the number of attacks, four attacks base, Space Marines on the charge, uh, this is the Halberd, which will be Paul Cook, uh, Patronic Dice, and D3 Extra. Just the one. Okay. The ideal situation is to try and get the wipeout on these. Whirling blades for one CP. One CP minus one to the wind rolls. We're on plus one to the wind rolls. We're oh, just going to be, one. yeah, going to be on a straight up. Uh, strength mm. ten. Yeah. Let's just mm. check our. Uh, I think you'll take it back to twos. With our strength. Well, your, could your, be a toughness so you're five. Twos. Yes. I'm taking you back to threes. Yes. And then your built-in ability takes you back to twos. Hmm. It's almost not worth it. We'll just check the weapon profiles here to try and see what strength. Uh, we're up against toughness 5. How it works. It could be, yeah. Um, so the fist will be times 2 strength, strength 12. Uh, the force halberd will be plus 2 strength, though. Uh, just that one attack will come in at strength 8. 
so three stones, you'd actually be just turning one of the attacks, the golden attack, into if it's worth the CP. I kind of get the feeling I'm not going to have much left at the end of this phase. <laughs> um, <laughs> Blood Angel's back with a, yeah, a bang here, potentially. The, the built in plus one to wound is. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry. You're going to leave it? <coughs> yeah, so I'm saying it's not really worth it. So uh, we'll go for. We'll go for the, the, the Paul Cook Halberd here then. So it would take the, how, how more damage is the Halberd? The damage on this thing is actually pretty good. So it's D3 plus 3. On the Halberd? Yeah. And what is it on the other attacks? A, a straight 3. Oh, they're all dead. They're dead, yeah. We'll do the Halberd first of all, needing a 3. 1 to 2. 2's uh, to wind. Come on, Paul Cook. Yeah. Oh no, it's a 1. Come on. Come on. Thanks, Paul. Um, do you know, I, I'm going to command reroll that because I want to make sure this goes ahead. Never command reroll a one. You'll Why? Be into a one again. Okay, Paul Cook, this is your chance. Oh. Got him. Okay, D3 plus three, so model removed from play. Could be. Hang on a second. Minus three or minus four? Minus three. Oh, so here we go. Here we go. Longbow BB. It's a stretch. A one in six chance. No. No, right, model slain. Yeah, it's not over yet. There's four models remaining. I have six attacks, but I'm on threes to hit, so this may not go according to plan. Um, we'll make our attacks. So I think it was right to come over all that to try and get that kill. But anyway. Uh, the sound of fist pumping from Tom. Dull oh, blast. Come on. Um, You're going to regret this. May well do. Yeah, I'm gonna get choppered here. Those wounds come two. through. Right, Minus so two. Three. Yeah, three damage. Any sixes here will be good. No. Two more models slain. So one, two, three rerolls. Yeah, Tom on average should resurrect a model back here. And all of a sudden he's up for the fight. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> it's not your army, Tom. It's not my army, you're right. <laughs> it's definitely not my army. It's about the I mean, worst. There's no point in me even rolling that. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the uh, worst reanimation roll we've ever seen. There, right? Yes. So I take those because he wants away. the damage. Pile him in three. Three. Did you want the other one? Because that one there, the big one's damage three, which so will turn into damage two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want the because which will become damage two. Yeah. Take him away. Yeah. So take him away. Yeah. Um, and then tuck him in there and him in three. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Six attacks. Oh, we have to wait, but you could do it now, I suppose. Out of sync. Yeah, no, finish off yours first. We'll leave the. Okay. We'll, leave we'll come back to this one, everybody. So put the kettle on and you have to wait here. We'll do another combat. So are you going to interrupt? This is the question. Anywhere across the board, is it worth the interrupt? I get one attack each. I'm not Novok. Um... Two up armor save. Ugh. Yeah, no, I'm just going to be slaughtered. Um... I don't think they've got anything. I can't give them plus one attack, can I? For blood rights, that's a uh, no rock strap. Um, no, I just need to die, I think. How much I can do about it? Okay. Yes, Sanguinary Guard. We've moved those across and we've tapped into it on the other side just to try and potentially cut their firepower down, but the Warden's there uh, anyway to try and help them. So Tom, L L Tom's. looking for more buffs because hitting on twos, re rolling ones, wounding on twos, instantly killing is not enough. <laughs> Two, <laughs> twos for hits here. Oh, there's loads of ones. Thankfully, Lazarus is nearby to direct their blows. There's loads of fouled. I've, I've taken the risk and used some Imperial Fist dice here, but they've actually almost all hit. And we'll go for twos, re-rolling our ones. So all of them except one. And, and then strength five of the blades, and then plus one to the wound rolls. It's going to be twos. And it's AP minus three, two damage, so twos will be kills. So fouled with them. So nine so far. There's a chance. Maybe. No. no. Oh, yuck. Ouch, 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 ouch. A big fan of Sanguinary Guard at the moment. Just a unit of eight of them. You utterly can't deadly. Them. You, you can't stop them. You can't stop them. They just deep strike in. All the rerolls, pluses to charges, and then there's not many units in the game that can instantly delete, tw delete 20 warriors. 
True. Like that, and the sang they did that to my neck once before as well. Mm. So, so I knew that was coming. Yeah, good work from the Sanguinary Guard. They've uh, smashed a hole in this Necron line here. Nasty stuff from the Blood Angels. But this is how they're meant to. This is how they're meant to be represented, just charging in and, and slaughtering all in their paths. So, uh, they're doing well enough at this point. Just giving you the view from Tom's <laughs> perspective here. So we've, we've pushed through in this direction. We've now tapped into the Warden uh, and continue to tap into the Warriors just here and just spreading out, keeping coherency and then protecting the Captain. So uh, I'll pick him. There's no combat, so we'll go straight on to consolidation with him. So I'll head off uh, three inches in this direction, like so. Okay, so next charging unit will be the Terminators. We'll do their attacks into the hex mark. I don't think you need it, but there's fear of the first. <laughs> there is fear of the first, but we'll leave it. We should be able to deal with the hex mark here with these Thunder Hammer attacks. The hex mark is called Cowboy Bebop. Could be. Yes. It must be called Cowboy. Okay, that's Tom's suggestion. Uh, you can leave your oof, you can leave your own comments and suggestions here. That's horrific. Look at that. Shit of fury. Yeah. Two more though, it's not really much. Two's to wound. Right, they've all made it through. AP minus two now if on damage, I mm -hmm. believe. Okay, so five ups. Just maybe no. Oh, no. Is on the head. Twelve damage. <clears throat> this is going well. Okay. We'll make a consolidation move next with the Terminators. So push them through in that direction, three inches towards the nearest enemy unit. So now the Warden and the Warriors to fight, and also the Scorpic Destroyers to go against the Terminator. Uh, so three attacks from the Warden, hitting on threes. Wounded on threes, shot five. One. Okay, uh, two up. Past. And uh, three Warriors. Tom doesn't want to move, he's on the objective at the moment. Two. Uh, three. three. Yeah, two ups past with them. Okay, so now the last combat, Scorpec Destroyers. Against the Librarian Dreadnought. We are in the ones, which has helped a little bit. Now, I think your three is to win, strength seven. Two. Two have made it through. Not enough. AP minus three. Three damage. Three damage. Six is to block, no. Minus one, so it's going to be four wounds taken uh, on the Librarian Dragnum. Yeah, you can do that. That's a consolidation move. Uh, combat finished. Tom's uh, moved in another three inches. So that means he does now claim this objective. So I'm dropping down to four wounds left on the Dragnum, like so. Yeah, there was a chance, but uh, Dragnaut remains uh, here. So turn comes to an end. We'll give you a summary of the score. Blood Angels have, have hit with a bit of a sledgehammer uh, here. A successful charge is going ahead. And some decent firepower support coming in uh, from reserve as well. We'll give you an update on the score. So not too many points were picked up, but 10 points in total. Five points of primaries for the Blood Angels. Uh, then assassinate the Hexmark Destroyers, a character. So three points picked up for that. Engage on all fronts, one to three table call, just two points picked up for that. So ten points to zero at this stage. But Tom has a turn in, ha turn in hand uh, here as we head on to the second turn of the game for the Necrons. But they've taken uh, a heavy blow here from Blood Angels. So I'm missing about three quarters of the army. Oh, you warrior squad down. Hex mark down. Well, nearly two warrior squads down. I've got not got many left. There. Yeah, just hex just... mark down. All of the... Uh, uh, that's the bloke. Yeah, no, forgot, forgot about those. Yeah. That's what's tipped the scales here. Yeah. The Tomb Blade's removed. Uh, Tom is at a disadvantage here, but not down and out of the fight yet. No, Necrons no. can be dangerous. Can yeah, we'll see what uh, Tom can do, but uh, Blood Angels have struck well this turn. We'll go on to turn two coming up next for the Necrons. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, Trump turned two for the Necrons. And just as we were saying, uh, to watch the Necrons, they can be dangerous when they're down. 15 points picked up for primaries. Tom's on one, two, three, and four primary objectives uh, here. So 15 points picked up for that. It's off to a good start here on this uh, second turn. So priorities, you're saying, is the Sanguinary Guard to try and deal with those. Uh, Tom doesn't want to tolerate those on the table, if possible. And also to try and get rid of that Dreadnought on that flank uh, as well. If Tom can deal with those two uh, units, that'll be a step in the right direction uh, for sure. Blood Angels have caused a lot of disruption here, but uh, Necrons do have a habit of bouncing back, so we'll see what Tom can do. So we'll let Tom make his moves. Whilst he is moving, I just mentioned the uh, Marcus here. So these are available on the Etsy store. These are the acrylic version, 40 millimeters wide, uh, color print. Uh, so you can use those. They come in packs of six, so perfect for games of 40K. That's the official size for objective markers. So you can check those out on the Etsy store. There's also the coins are available here, the 10-year commemorative edition coin, uh, available uh, as a single coin, uh, or you can get them in packs of six as well. But all of those available uh, and shipping worldwide, so you can uh, check out that merchandise on the Etsy store. The link for that is in the video description below. Uh, and then other resources uh, will be painting tutorials. These two armies have been on the channel for a good while, so there's a, a very good resources available uh, if you want to copy the colour schemes and the painting techniques that you see. For Necrons, uh, there's two painting tutorials. One's how to paint the Scorpic Lord from the new Indomitus box set, and also how to paint Necron Warriors, both of those available on the channel. And then for Blood Angels, uh, there is how to paint Blood Angels, showing you how to paint uh, a Terminator, from the Space Hulk box set, but that's the same process I've used for all of the Blood Angels here, so that's available. And also just recently released uh, how to paint one of these Bow Predators, showing you how to paint vehicles. Uh, so you can use that for the Bow Predator or any of the vehicles. Uh, the technique is the same uh, there, so you are free to copy that tutorial as well, just to help you out painting Blood Angels, which can be tricky. Red uh, can be a difficult colour to get right, uh, but full details are in those painting tutorials. Okay, movement's complete. Uh, so putting back the Scorpec Destroyers, I think Tom's intent is to shoot the Dreadnought uh, here. Then uh, tucking around here, Ramses, I think Tom's playing uh, Engage on the Fronts just to have a, a unit uh, present in that table quarter. Uh, so characters then backing off at, with the Warden. Illuminor Zerus moving in. Necron Warriors across here. Uh, then two wounds being restored in the Canoptic Doomstalker and four... Tom's Protocol of the Undying Legion. Yes, that's in play at the moment. Uh, and then heading across in this direction uh, here with the Immortals. Again, the plan is to let loose a volley into the Sanguinary Guard. So this one hasn't moved. No, hasn't moved. This one yeah. did move. Yeah. Right, okay. So movement's complete. We'll go on to shooting phase next. Okay, shooting phase then. Uh, these are blessed, by the way, the Immortals, Tamra. Uh, bless them with my will be done. So plus one to their hit rolls. Okay, so Canoptic Doomstalker, this is the the missus, the mister that was shot from last turn. It's going to fire across here into the Dreadnought. He's moved, he's on the low power ability, so d6 shots. From Lucas Rengel? Lucas Rengel, for number of shots. Six. Oh, <laughs> six. Fours. Ah, oh, superb. Now you've got a good round of shooting here. Four hits coming through. Threes. Threes, two. Ah, oh, triple two. No, no. One, minus two. Minus two. Uh, so, five up. Mm, failed. D. Oh, boy. Um, five up. I'll turn to a Patronic help. I'd like to try and keep that Dreadnought in good condition, if we can. Ray Cross. Five plus. It's going to cost us a CP. We've got plenty of them. They've got seven CP left. Five or more. Yeah, oh, it's a four. D3. One. Minus one doesn't matter. One wound taken. Dropping down to three wounds left. Unless you want to come and read all your damage. Six. Just to chip off another wound. Um, let's see what other options I have. There is the other Doomstalker, no, obviously. I'm going to go with the Cutscene Command Barge into him next. Okay, yes. Um, we'll go with Cannon. Three shots, need twos. Come back. Five's to wound. One. One makes it through. Minus three. Minus four, you're in half range, Mephrit Dynasty. There's nothing I can do. Got so the 
two. Two damage. Uh, three becomes two, yeah. It's down to one wound left. Wow, yes, so the, forgot about a little bit of shooting from him. He's going to get two shots uh, here, needing fours. Two hits, fives to wound. This could be it. Got the wound. Uh oh, I've got no command reroll here. And I think it's AP minus one. I'll roll up and see what I get. I've got a one, he's dead. Oh, oh dear. Uh, do we explode? We do. <laughs> I think it's D3 damage. Three wounds. We'll just double check that. It could be one, but exploding dragon, I think, is D3. No, it's just one mortal wound. No problem. So one wound caused. Uh, removed from play. So part of Tom's plan is to clear me off objectives. Uh, so to clear off this one, I've only got a bow predator hold in this one here. So the intention is to fire uh, Mrs. Doomstalker against him. If that's destroyed, then there will be trouble because then we'll only be holding one primary objective and then we'll lose out picking any picking up any primaries on our turn three. So sad to see him go. Do like the librarian drug not, but it's no more. Three wounds left to try and get through. Right, I've got to try and keep him alive, so I'm going to put a smoke screen on him. Uh, this, who's this one? This is the last Marcus patron. Anthony. Marcus Anthony for the last patronic bit of help. Oh, it's one. I've got a reroll, so Marcus can try and regain. Six. Oh no, six. <laughs> There's a smirk on Tom's face here. Just need to get the hits, though. It will be yeah, fives. fives yeah. Smoke screen's going to help, or should help. <gasps> one. Out of, look at that, look how many fours there were. Yeah. Four fours. Smoke screens helped. Threes to wounds. Straight, Straight through. AP minus five. How Nothing. Three left. Three plus. Oh, oh it's a one. one. <laughs> no. Um, and then the other guns underneath. Yes, two shots. Two twos. Miss. They are infuriating units. They're, I, yeah, I sort yeah. of take them as a little bonus, but when you start relying on them, ah, uh, yeah. Oh dear. But they're quite tall and they remind me of War of the Worlds, so I do like them. Yeah, Tom counting up dice here. Three of the Immortals in rapid fire range, they'll be decent enough with their AP minus. The in twos, because they've been blessed against the Sanguinary Guard. They've all hit. Threes to wound. Pretty good. I think they're AP minus four. We'll just double check. Gore's Blasters. Yeah, it's AP minus two as standard, then AP minus three because of Mephrit Dynasty within half range. So. I'm not going to do enough. I thought they were all better than they were. I never, I never used them. One guy. One model slain, yeah. yeah right. So, model slain, uh, seven more shots to come through, need twos. And then threes to wound. And five. Five. Five saves of four plus. Ooh, one wound taken. Passing four of them though. So Necron Warrior unit in the corner is available to shoot because the Warden granted them the ability to fall back and shoot. And they can do that at full ballistic skill. Haven't been blessed. It will be threes. Uh, but they're going to let rip of a nasty volley here. There's Gore's Reapers available. Gore's Flayers. So Sanguinary Guard about to be hit. Now, it's, check it. Your half range stuff, remember, is an extra AP minus one. So you've got to break that... Uh, yeah, so I'm doing the front, the front ones first that are in half range. Fine, just, yes. Uh, two, shot, uh, two that can shoot, so four shots in total. Yep. And on three, so... <laughs> and, and this is Reapers or Flayers? Uh, the high strength. I always get confused. Yes, on the Reaper. So AP minus three, that one, actually. So that's going to slay that model. So that one with the wound can go. So another Sanguinary Guardsman slain. Each golden boy that's removed, Tom would be happy to see them go. Oh no, it's not it's not good, Xenos Dice. Maybe I'm the only one that can roll them, Tom. You even took the rolling back for you. <laughs> and uh, one okay. makes it through. Turn the camera off. I need a minute. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. oh I failed, I rolled a one. Woo one wound taken. With an average of like it's not good. You know what they say, Tom? If you spill salt, throw it over your shoulder. You, or you won't live to be much older. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit of... A wee bit of salt here and there in this game. Where are we? So, it's... Illuminor Zerus. D3 shots. I know this one off by heart. With the Eldritch Lance. Three shots. Threes for hits. He could cause trouble here. If he gets oh, his... Oh, no. Two's to wound. Don't roll a... 
Why? When did... I think it's AP minus four. Minus four. So... You still get a save. Oh. Damage of D3. Killed a model. Well done, Luminal Zerus. Uh, picked off another. Yep, he can go. That's fine. It has to be him. It's the wounded model. Okay. So five Sanguinary Guard left. Still protecting uh, their beloved captain, Lazarus Dornhammer. Any more shooting? Just looking around. No, I don't really have much left. I think that's about it. Okay. Charges. I take it there'll be some. I Charges not, next. Yeah. This one. I want to do that one. But then the problem is if I charge him or zero sin, you'll interrupt and kill him straight away. Oh, a conundrum. And if I charge him in there, even because you're blood angels, you'll probably be wounding me on twos or threes. Mm. Oh, no, no, fours. You can only wound me on fours. Yes. Because he's got built-in transhuman. Yes. Um, so I'll go for that one first anyway. We'll try. I'm not going to risk Overwatch. I reckon I'd lose models. We're out of range of our captain. Only one's being rolled to hit or slay models, so we'll not do that. Okay. Seven. <laughs> oh, three. One, so, two. do you come on please. a reroll? Please, please. Here it comes. Thank you. Seven required. Seven he's got just about. Oh, Tom almost moved up to a nine. A nine on the saltometer. <laughs> saltometer. <laughs> okay. Um, and. Luminal Zerus, is he going to go in? What has he got? He has nine. nine. Tamon Ra is tough enough, yeah. No AP, you've got no AP again. Nothing, no, no. Okay. Uh, Tamon Ra, uh, not Tamon Ra, Luminozerus will go in. Yeah, he's in. In he goes, on his own. Oof, boy, oh boy, oh boy. What, what other choice do I have? Yeah, send him in. Okay. He's not meant to be he's in combat, but he, in close combat. I know, and, he, he, and the thing is, he always finds himself in close combat for some strange reason, every game. Okay, that's pretty much all the charges. Scorpec Destroyer's just on the objective here. The Dreadnought's gone. So we'll go on to combat resolution next. So it makes sense. Illuminal Zerus to fight first. Four attacks. And he does get some attacks for his legs, by the way, as well. Threes. Okay, I am... <laughs> what if one hit comes through? You're averaging what should be a 66% success rate, running at 25% at the, <laughs> at the um, moment. Re -roll, and then I'm going to spend another re-roll to hit. <gasps> Desperate I, stuff. Like, I need to at least try and kill. Two hits. Threes. Threes to cause trouble. There is a CP to give you a guaranteed wound, but... Yeah. No. Oh, oh, one I'm makes it free. Six plus save for you. <laughs> Tom's gonna... Tom's turned around, he's banging his head against the wall. <laughs> okay. Um, so, we'll... Uh, next up will be... The Impaling Legs. Uh, two extra attacks for the Impaling Legs. Two hits. A wound. I think it's minus one. Failed. Wound caused. Okay, so he trod on one of the... trod on the toes of one of the Sanguinary Guardsmen. And this is only... Uh, they three wounds each, are they? They are three wounds each, and it's a damage two weapon. Yes. Right. And there's a six plus feel no pain as well for the sanguinary priest nearby. Uh, so five attacks because of merciless tyrant wall or trait. Then twos. And then needing a threes to wound because of toughness five. Keep going, Tom, keep going. They've all wounded. And it's AP minus four, so there's nothing I can do. So one model to be yeah. there's no rolls, is there? It's damage two. Okay. I'll kill one and a half. So I'm going to try and roll sixes for the well, first I one. Might kill one and a half. Blocked. I kill one and a half. So if I get a six here, then Tom's so that'll be a model slain, and there's two wounds coming through on the next model. No sixes. Okay, so one model slain, two wounds on another. All right, it's damage taken. This is our attacks back. Three for the sergeant, plus one for being charged, and, and then two attacks, plus one for being charged for the others. So threes. Hmm... All of them. And then we were charged. It's plus, oh. plus, one, plus one to the wound rolls. Fours to wound. <laughs> There's loads. That's ridiculous. Nine wounds have come through. I like these dice. Tom, we'll do a swap. What's his save? Three up. Three up. He'll be okay. Nine. Nine rolls. The hard. Three but wounds. Not too bad. That's, that's bang on average, actually. Uh, so three wounds taken on Tem and Ra. 
Okay, so uh, that's the attacks back. We'll do the uh, bow predator here. Missed. That's him finished. Uh, Thomas swung around and tapped into him, by the way. Okay, so that's that situation there resolved. Sanguinary uh, guard next to fight. This is their attacks. Twos. The captain's nearby. It's a brilliant combination. So we get to reroll our ones. It's a couple of ones. Okay, so they've all hit. So strength five, toughness on Xerus, I think is toughness six on him, in which case it'll be fives to wound and then plus one to the wound rolls. Tom will just double check. I'll roll the dice to see what we get. Fours. Yeah, toughness six. Yeah, so fours to wound would be good. I don't know if he has an invon save. He doesn't. He doesn't? Well, he's dead. Was it minus four? No, minus three. So I've got a three up save. Eleven. Up save. I'm bound to stay alive. How many, how, many, how many damage are these? Damage two. Oh, of course. So, 11 saves here, and in sixes. I think we're about to say goodbye to Illuminor Xerus. Mm -hmm. Look at all of the ones! There's loads. What's going on? It's, it's all part of the plan. See, I, I lent out the Xenos dice, and I'm pretty much guaranteed to get them <laughs> to get them back again at the end of the game. You can take your dice back, and you can take your army back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. You look forward to using his own Necron set. Yeah. Right, so that's them resolved. We'll consolidate with those. Yeah, they can shift in that direction. Okay, Sanguinary Guard movement, uh, consolidation move done. And turn comes to an end. Okay, so uh, points been picked up then by both sides. Uh, the Blood Angels have picked up three more points for killing a character. So their total points is 13. Necrons are on 23. Tom's ahead by 10 points here. 15 points for primaries. Purge the Vermin achieved uh, in that table quarter. So two points picked up for that. Raise the Banners. Three points picked up at the start of Tom's command phase. And Assassinate for killing the Dreadnought. Another three points picked up for that. So Necrons are ahead on points. But uh, I think we all realise the Blood Angels poised here to strike hard again on the next turn coming up so we'll go on to turn three the middle stage of the game blood angels have caused uh, enough damage here to, to cause havoc amongst the necrons and just need to keep that pressure up to try and get ahead of the necrons in points we'll go on to their turn three coming up next All right, so movement here for the Blood Angels on turn three. Assault Marines have moved across. They're going to try and take on Temen Ra. Uh, pull back out of combat here with the damaged Bow Predator onto the home objective. Five points picked up for primaries. We held this one and this one across here. We've maneuvered these uh, intercessors across uh, to lend a bit of firepower support in this direction. Then uh, we have pulled out of close combat with the Plasma Inceptors, not be able to shoot, uh, but in amongst them, is the Sanguinary Priest. He restored the two wounds uh, on one of the models and then restored a whole model back to play uh, with the resurrection ability that he has. He can restore one model back to the unit. So that's that movement. It's a little bit around the other side of the board for the Blood Angels as well. So across here, Terminator's moving slowly but heading off towards this objective and the Necron Warriors on this flank. And then Lazarus Dornhammer moving across 12. Sanguinary uh, Guard moving across as well to assault the uh, Necrons uh, on this side of the board. So that is movement done. Uh, straight on to shooting phase next. So Angelus Bolt Guns, we're going to the Warden to try and pick on him. Needing twos and uh, re-rolling ones. So they will hit. Uh, fives to win though. Tom's toughness five. So four. We're not going to kill him. Uh, it's AP minus one. So we need fours. And two wounds taken. Okay, it's two wounds on the warden. We'll chuck a crack grenade at him. Needing a two. And uh, needing a three. Yeah, wound comes through. So AP minus one again. Got him. And then the damage of D3. We'll go Patronic on this one because the five or six will kill him. This is Tyler Summers. Needing a five plus. Close, 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 close. Do you get extra points for whacking one of your sanguinary cards? You like I'll give you the extra wound for doing that. <laughs> any, kill them in any way possible. Yeah, any way possible. I'm going to command reroll this one, actually. Do you want to use your other patron? Or you no, no, we'll stick with Tyler. Another chance for him. Oh, no, it's one less wound. Uh, Purgatorius into Tamin Ra, the uh, relic pistol. Ugh, missed entirely. That was with the Sanguinary Priest. 
So, uh, assault marines, humble assault marines, they do have the melter bomb keyword. So, we're going to throw a melter bomb here. If we can hit, the sergeant's going to throw it. The rest are going to fire their bolt pistols into Tamara. So, one dice need three. This is actually really important. So, I'm going to use the last Patreon. It's Will Wright. Three plus. Yes, got the hit. Well done. It's 2d3 mortal wounds against the vehicle. Five mortal wounds? I think that's just five, six, two, three, seven, six eight. Sorry, it is, yeah, six plus three. He's dead. That was a well placed melter bomb. Does he explode? On a six, he will. That's quite a rare event we've just seen. Uh, someone's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Tamara. Yeah. He, he's exploded. Yeah. There's a stratagem to try and get him back up. I think. You need a four plus on a dice That's, to make it. Point, I'm just like, is it worth? Yeah. So there, there is no point. Tom's saying if he gets back up, if if he can do it, there's no point anyway. The assault marines are poised and ready, oh, ready to charge. Two wounds. Two wounds. Yeah, she just blew him up. Thank you. Good. And um, your assault, assault marines. Yeah, one guide. And kill one of them as well. Okay, fair enough. So he can go. And yes, now that will be a turn up. If you oh please, that's just blown up as well. Right, everything's blowing up here at this stage. Multiple self destruct buttons going off. That's just oh right okay. And I'll oh, I've just lost a marine and then put in a wound on another. To be fair, it was a mounter charge. Like so, it's bound to be explosive. It was overkill and it's caused our own tank oh. to detonate. The, the, the assault intercessor just planted the mountain block charge onto the barge and then before he could get away it blew up, killed him, killed his mate and then blew up the tank. Yeah, I love it. Oh, Epic stuff. Yeah, yeah cool. Hollywood moment. Cool. Our, our imagination's running right at this point <laughs> here with multiple explosions taking place. <laughs> killed more stuff blowing things up <laughs> than actually with shooting in close combat. Oh dear me, right. So that's them resolved. They lost two of their number, but I think it was worth it getting rid of Tamar Ras. He's gone. Good work from the Assault Marines. Uh, it's, they are being watched though. Look behind the containers here. There's Scorpec destroyers nearby. Uh, so I'm looking around. I think shooting phase is finished. We'll go on to charges next. Yeah, we think this charge is possible. I shouldn't have taken models from here. Uh, I reckon a nine will get them in. So we'll have a go. And I'm going to command re-roll that because it would be very useful if we can reach them. We do. Roll a 10. Plus 1 is 11. Assault range, would you believe it? They've now gone and slammed into the Scorpec destroyers. Uh, we, we're talking about the game. Uh, what's happening to the, the, uh, the experience Tom's having is the experience I had my Necrons with his sisters when they sent units in and uh, ripped off chunks of my army and disrupted the Necrons. They're trying to form up a decent battle line. They can be strong when that happens, but if you can get into the Necrons and disrupt things, it certainly causes trouble and it's very frustrating to try and get that battle line back together again. That's happened here, but it's more of a bit of a shark attack, this one. Uh, Blood Angels have been uh, vicious in their pursuit of the Necrons in this game, and it just hasn't given Tom the time to form up a battle line here and to execute a plan. But you can see it happening. This this combat's come out of nowhere. Assault Marines now uh, moving across and plunging into the Scorpec Destroyers. No room to breathe here uh, for the Necrons at this point. And now look across the other side of the table. More charges, the Sanguinary Guard, uh, and Lazarus Dornhammer himself poised to charge as well. And over on the other flank, Terminators to smash in to the Necron Warriors over there as well. Brutal stuff from the Blood Angels. Okay, some more charges going ahead. Terminator's making it in uh, very comfortably. Lazarus has gone in here to try and take out this character. Our secondary is assassinating. There's an objective here as well. But across here, a bit of a twist. Charging in here with these. Tom's going to overwatch and pay the point for the Immortals. And then with the special rules for the Canoptic Doomstalkers, they can both overwatch here as well. And your protocol is set to defend. So it'll be fives for yeah, hits. The, uh, protocol of the Eternal Guardian. And I've selected the select for the defend. Yes, yeah, so there's trouble here for the Sanguinary Guard. I think casualties are going to come in here. So uh, Two short hits. 20, yeah. yeah. 20 so you need fives. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the hits there's coming through. Sixes. There's another six over there, yeah, well done. Threes Three. to wound. Some are foul, but plenty have made it. Oh, no. So these are AP minus three. Okay. So, uh, sixes. Blocked one, five casualties taken. Three dead, Three dead yeah, model slain because there's a wound on him already. 
and then we'll go here and here. Ouch. So, Mrs. Longlegs? That's uh, here. Uh, D6 shots? Four. Four. In fives. What profile do you fire at? We'll, we'll check. We'll, we'll check and see what profile. I think it's the lower profile when Overwatch does happen. It's high power you get to shoot at with here, so. One. Okay. No uh, twos. Yes. Uh, minus five. Yes. One dead. Uh oh. And then the weapons underneath? Uh, yes, of course, yeah. In fives. Three's to end, I believe. One, one comes through. Past that one. Remember, we've got the other one to shoot. One. Six shots. Oh, <laughs> needing fives. Sanguinary Guard are about to disappear. No, they're not. Oh, yes, they God. are. Two, yeah. Two's to wound. Got him. Gone. Gone. No matter what you do, Gone. five wounds. Puff, he's away. Sanguinary Guard wiped out here. Well, there you go. That's a pretty good, pretty good combination. Tom's impressed here. Finally, finally over the pipes. And being blasted to pieces. Yes, no, very, another cinematic moment just here, but uh, Blood Angel's trying to assault this corner, but it's not to be. Uh, their attack's been repulsed by Overwatch firepower here as the Necron's set to defend. Uh, it's, no interrupt can take place here. Tom's on one command point, so we're free no, to... No command points, just spend it on the interrupt. On the right, so we're free to make our attacks. Uh, we may as well go for this one down here, Assault Marines, uh, fighting against the Scorpec Destroyers. The ideal situation is to hack uh, both of these models down if we can. Do you reckon they could do it if you execute games well? Easy peasy. Ooh, okay. If you, hit, if you hit every army like this, no army will be able to resist it. Hmm. I don't think there's I don't think there's an army in the game. If you make those charges when you first come in, yes. that can take that hit from yeah. all of that stuff uh -huh. and be in a good enough position to pull back. Okay. So we're talking about the potential the Blood Angels could have in the league here. And about time too, because they've been around for... Uh, at the, since the start of the channel, pretty much, and they've always, they've always suffered at the hands of different armies. And, and what you brought in here, you like those, was their weakness before. Is, is you didn't really have supporting firepower. Yeah. yeah, you had the land raider, but I mean, four large cannons compared to that thirty shots at <coughs> front eight. So what we've got here is a weighing up number of attacks for the assault marines. Again, not a popular choice for blood angel players, but I, I, I think that we saw how good the melter bomb attack was uh, here. I should have done. Uh, Hammer of Wrath as well to cause mortal wounds. Only uh, command point five pluses on eight dice for mortal wounds, but it's, uh, we've, we've missed that chance because it has to be done during the charge phase or on assaults at this point. Uh, so one attack base, plus one for the chainsword, uh, plus one for space marines on the charge, and then plus one for savage echoes as well because we're on turn three. Uh, so uh, in an assault doctrine. So I'm going to roll up in threes. Just using some imperial fist dice here. Which uh, getting us the results. Not too bad. Taking out all the failures. And happy enough with that. It's not too bad. Uh, so strength four. Fives to wound. Plus one to the wound rolls. So fours. Oh, there's loads. And there's a good number more. So we're looking at uh, ten. Fifteen. Sixteen saves. The sword's AP minus, the chain sword's minus one, and then minus one again for Assault Doctrine. They're dead. Got them. Oh, okay, we can breathe a sigh of relief. I wanted to get rid of those, because they <laughs> they would hack us down if they survived. Assault Marines, well done. They've wiped out the Scorpec Destroyers. Okay, so slight readdressing of the ranks. We can't really shift that direction, because Ramses is just tucked around the corner. So we're happy to sit on that objective and for now. So next assault uh, around the other side, Terminator's in the corner. Okay, so uh, base of two, space marines on the charge and savage echoes, and then the sergeant gets an extra attack. So we'll be on fours. Yeah, not so good. Yeah, might not kill them. Be twos to kill though, because they're AP minus three now. But it's going to be tight. Two, four, six, Just roll one one, please. Two ones would be ideal. Yes. Gonna be none, is there? Oh, one, and then you re -roll it. come on, reroll. Got them. Yeah. All right, destroyed them. Necron warriors gone. So consolidation move, not the full amount though, because we want do want to maintain our presence on that objective. So the last combat then, Lazarus Dawnhammer. I will do his attacks next. So four attacks, base one attack for space marines on the charge, and then savage echoes an extra attack as well. 
Okay, so he has Gift of Foresight. Uh, threes for hits. I'll reroll one of the dice. So that helps. And then uh, twos to wound. Uh, they were wounded. So five make it through. LP minus three. So to survive, five sixes. No, okay. So, oh, oh, oh wrong, mod <laughs> wrong model. Wrong <laughs> model. Okay. And again, we'll, s we'll just pivot where we are and leave them there. So you can stand defiant on that objective in the middle of the board. Okay. So all combat's resolved. Necrons have been shattered here. We'll calculate points uh, picked up by the Blood Angels at this point. Yes, points picked up. Uh, the Blood Angels have gone into the lead, but only by one point here. But we, we know which way the game's going. Uh, the Blood Angels are uh, poised to, to reap in a lot more points here. Three more points picked up for Assassinate. Uh, that was for destroying the Warden. Uh, Engage in all fronts, three points picked up for that as well. So 24 points to the Blood Angels at this point, uh, to Tom's 23 uh, for the Necrons. We are going to continue it's, uh, the way Tom likes to play, is to keep going till the game comes uh, to a proper end. So resistance to the Necrons now uh, remains here in this corner. Uh, and then uh, Ramses is just tucked around here. So turn finished. We're going to turn three. Uh, it's now for the Necrons coming up next. So movement quite straightforward. See on turn three. Movement. Nothing moved. And then he moved around there uh, to go after the assault marines. So let's talk about the Blood Angels. Uh, there's the potential for them to do well, we reckon in the league some tweaks uh, and some potential new units on the way for them as well just to change things up uh, but th the new unit being added in uh, impressive enough Tom's been saying it's the one thing that's been lacking from the Blood Angels sort of hard hitting uh, close support firepower and something you can guarantee will get to shoot yes because you've got it in reserve you drop it down yeah you definitely you the threat on the other side yes almost guaranteed to delete whatever it is even they're hordes. They're, they're, they're mow down hordes because blast. Hordes, yeah, hordes or, yeah, any reasonably armoured vehicle. Uh-huh. Because the fact that it's strength... Eight? Strength eight. Yeah. Minus four if you overcharge. Mm -hmm. Or minus three if you overcharge. I think it's still minus three, but still um, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, they're cool. This, I mean, it's, 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 there's a good reason why a lot of the competitive players are, are taking them. Um, yeah, I think we've maybe seen... maybe a couple of squads on them, like... Mm -hmm. they, just, they do the job. They certainly do know they've a welcome addition to this Blood Angels force here. Okay. So, movement's done. We're going to shooting at phase next for the Necrons. Right, so Tom's going to try and bring down uh, Lazarus. You can see him, his wings just over there. 20 shots with the Necron Immortals, who weren't touched in close combat. Have a decent overwatch last turn. Looking for threes. So talent for annihilation, you have used you have used that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, sixes to wound will be mortal wounds. Just to try and bring this model down. Three. Got the three. Well done. Very good. And that's in addition to the the regular damage. And then three, six, seven, and minus three. Ouch. Uh, so need fours with the storm shield. Can we roll one of them? I can reroll one. No. Seven. Seven wounds, he's a goner. Lazarus is dead. Hey, cool. <laughs> he can fly away home. Oh, hello. Who's this? <laughs> the, oh, yeah. the Sanguinor. I forgot about him. We'll leave him at the edge of the table. He can arrive to late at the party uh, next turn. So, next up is... Next turn is turn four. Yeah. First, uh, Mr. Longnecks into these guys. Yeah, so five power now from the Canoptic Doomstalkers. Uh, four. Four's fits. Great. Just the one, two's for a kill. Not necessarily, it's deep. Oh, yeah, it does. He's wounded, yeah. Oh, I didn't realise there was on one. Sorry, fire it in the other order. It yeah, doesn't matter. The other one That's first. okay. Sorry. Um, I get extra range. Yes, so 24, 20, uh, 12, 13 and a half inches. The edge of your base. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yep. So four shots. One made it. Miss. Okay. So keep the results. Yep. Fine. So you can go. And then the next one is going to fire into them as well. Yep. Uh, for two, but it goes up to three. Because of blast, yes. In fours. Yep, two. Twos. 
Oh, one doesn't go through. And then uh, D6 damage. Another one slain. We'll take him away. And then the two shots from the underslung guns. Two hits. Two wounds. Uh, foul one, so wound taken. We'll put it on to this model here. Like so. Shooting phase finished. Charges, I take it, he's going in. In he goes. In he goes. Yeah. Just like this? Yeah. yeah okay. Fine. So we're going to combat resolution next as uh, Ramses charges in at, against the assault marines. So equipped to the hyperphase glaive here. Uh, four attacks need twos. And they've all hit. Threes to wound. Nice. Uh, D3. Two dead. Uh, yeah. So one, two, and then a wound on another like so. But assault marines taking damage here. End of turn, or end of attacks from Tom, and then we'll do our attacks back. Uh, so we get a few attacks here to try and cause some wounds. So one attack base. Yeah. One four attack base, it's four isn't it, and then one for the sergeant. Nice lot of attacks, because Savage Echoes we're getting bonuses for. Okay, so threes will be hits. Just checking Savage Echoes to see if we get it, if we are charged, but we do. Uh, fours to wound, yep. Yeah. It's actually really good, this salt, look at this. Uh, eight saves, uh, so you go down to your invon save. Oh, superb. Two wounds taken. Ramsey's very much alive. So a bit of struggle now erupts between these two units fighting desperately on this flank. Uh, turn is finished here at this point. So a uh, bit of morale to resolve. And then we'll end the turn here for the Necrons on turn three. I don't know why I keep forgetting. To be honest, I completely forgot Freeman. No, 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 it's fine. We'll leave it, we'll leave it. The Sanguinol could have turned... It doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything, just bring me. The, sang the Sanguinol could have turned up here and intervened. No, because if, if you keep letting me off, I'll not learn my lessons. I've got to learn the hard way and then I'll, it'll, be, it'll be rooted deep into my mind. Way, Luke. Bring him in. Bring him in. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Nothing else would have changed. Like, I would have still got to attack first and you would have hit me back mm -hmm. and then you'd hit me with him. It's fine. Okay, well, we'll right, okay, Tom. We'll, we'll bring him in. Yeah. Are you sure you don't mind? No, not at all. Dum, 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 dum. You can't have someone like the Sanguinor not turn up. No, it's not fair, is it? it if, if anything, it's disrespectful to me. Yes. It's like, I'm not going to turn up because they're already dead. No. I want him to turn up. Yes. It's good. Good for you, Tom. The Sanguinor has arrived a little bit out of sequence with the game, but he has arrived on the board here. Good to see him finally turn up. Uh, he would have come earlier on, but... Uh, my, <laughs> not because uh, my memory's been a bit of a problem here, uh, bringing the Sanguinor on, but uh, he has finally arrived. We've put our minds together, and both of us have remembered halfway through the assault <laughs> phase to bring him on on turn three. Okay, Sanguinor to fight then uh, with his sword. The thing is, Tom, I don't know if he's that good. Um, good <laughs> five attacks. Good enough. Um, performed a heroic intervention, Space Marines, Savage Echoes as well. Uh, so seven attacks needing twos. Oh, he's fouled with those two. So five make it through. Uh, now the strength. Yeah, we're going to be on twos to wound. Okay, so that's the situation. AP minus four. Tom will take the invon save. There's four of them to try and make here. I think Ramses is going to go. Yes, two damage a time. So that is the end of Ramses. He's gone. Sanguinor uh, finishes him off. So, uh, combat resolved, Sanguinor has finally turned up uh, here, and then we'll finish the turn, calculate points uh, at this stage, and give you an update on the score as we prepare to go on to turn four for the Blood Angels. Yeah, so uh, point score, Tom's ahead by two points, 29 points to him. Uh, so more points are picked up for destroying Lazarus, three points for assassinating, and Purge the Vermin over in that table quarter, two more points picked up for that as well. Uh, we got our three points across here, though, for assassinate, so 29 points to Tom for the Necrons, and 27 points to the Blood Angels. But that's about to change around now. Uh, Blood Angels in control of multiple primary objectives, 15 points about to come on for them, uh, and they'll muster their forces together and now pursue the Necrons over in that corner. So we're going to turn four, or press on. Tom wants to play to the bitter end uh, here, so we're going to the fourth turn for the Blood Angels coming up next. Okay, so 
Uh, it's movement here on turn four for the Blood Angels. 15 points picked up for primaries. Uh, these Assault Marines have moved forwards to here and deployed Scramblers. That's the middle part of the board. So really what's left is uh, Tom's deployment zone. Uh, let's try and pick up those 10 victory points for that. Sanguinor's moved out. It's going to try and take on uh, the Canoptic Doomstalker. Then jumping up on top here with the Sanguinor Priest. And then also uh, the Inceptor, Plasma Inceptor Marines. Uh, 10 inches moved in total with an advance onto that objective uh, with the Terminators. And they may as well just anchor this objective here with these uh, Intercessors. Movement's done. Uh, we'll go on to shooting phase next. Okay, so... Plasma Inceptors here, six sh shots each because of Blast going into the Immortals. So threes, not supercharging, so just straight threes for our hits. I don't know if we'll get the wipeout here, we'll see how we do. So I'll take all of those away, and that one, and those, like so. Threes to wound, doing the regular profile here at strength seven. That's a drop dice. So we'll take those ones away. It's not bad. It's pretty good. So 5, 10, 14 saves. It's going to be a struggle here. Tom's going to take cover on some of these models uh, behind the pipes. If you minus 3, uh, so 6s. He's calculating. Just do 6 at a time. Yep. These ones have got cover. 5s. Oh, triple. So 3 dead so far. Five dead so far. All done. Got him and sixes on the rest. No, is it enough? Six, nine, nine. one model left. Oh. <laughs> Reanimation protocols need fives. And three get back up. Okay, the unit's been uh, hit quite hard though. Four uh, remain alive. We'll fire at them using the Purgatorus. Two hits. Uh, two wounds. Minus three. So fives. Blocked one, damage two. So. And does it get back up? No. Okay. Model slain. That was the pistol, the relic pistol coming from uh, the Sanguinary Priest. Uh, if I'm in range of a crack grenade, I don't even know if he's equipped with unless the Sanguinor. Oh. Yep, well, he's in range if he is equipped with it. I'm throwing it in faith here. Oh, we can check. Here he is. Frank crack grenades. Yeah, crack grenade hits. Uh, Force for a wound, actually. Uh, no, failed. Shooting phase is finished. Uh, they were deploying scramblers, so we're going to uh, charges next. So Sanguinor has made it in quite comfortably. Uh, so five attack space. Space Marines on the charge. Extra attack for Savage Echoes. Needing twos. One except one. Uh, threes to wound, actually. Strength six with the weapon, and then plus one to the wound rolls, so threes to wound. I might as well command reroll that one, which has failed. So those have made it through. Do I get an invite in close combat? I believe you do, yes. So four plus. All of them. Ha! Well done. No damage taken at all. And Tom can make his attacks back. Two attacks on fives. A hit. And a wound. A wound. Any minus involved? No. Two up. Passed. Okay, turn uh, finished here. We'll calculate victory points now uh, being added on this turn for the Blood Angels. Yes, uh, 45 points now to the Blood Angels, 29 to the Necrons. They've got themselves ahead here. Uh, turn comes to an end. We'll go on to... Tom's going to fight on mm -hmm. here. So we'll go on to turn at four next for the Necrons. So movement done, just backing off from the objective, but to stay within three inches of that. No points picked up for primaries. Uh, and shooting phase yep. next. So Tom's going to fire everything into the Sanguinor. These guys first. This is the Immortals. Cool. Three's to wound, I think. Yeah, only three. Okay. Minus three. Yeah, we'll take our uh, invon save here. Foul two, so two wounds taken. Okay. Yeah, now the uh, Canoptic Doomstalker. One more. Failed, another wound taken. D3 shots when you go on top, oh, D6 shots when you go on top. Three shots, just need one success, we'll do it if you can get the hits. One comes through, 
The wound comes through. Four plus in one save. Passed. Saved the sanguine. Okay, desperate stuff here. Going to charge with the immortals. And in they go. They do want to. Okay. I'm walking three. Oh, they're two attacks each. I think. Enough. Oh, it could I think be. Someone pointed out in the last battle report. Surprised if they're two attacks each. Immortals, two attacks each. They are. Okay, six attacks. Need threes. And fours. Only two. Two ups. Ouch! Double wound taken, he's almost gone. Um, I'll come on reroll that to try and stay alive. Oh, please. Right, okay. So, a wound taken on the Sanguinaut. And then we'll fight back here with our seven attacks. It's not been too effective so far. I need twos. They've all hit. Twos to wound. Five saves at minus five. Two damage. Okay, they're gone. Okay, so combat's resolved. Tom's going to say we're going to leave it here. It's just those two left at this point. Sanguinor not, uh, not gone. Multiple units available to shoot and charge. At Terminators, we'll be able to get in range uh, to strike as well. So we're going to leave it at this point here. It is a Blood Angels victory. Uh, we'll calculate points and what the Blood Angels would have picked up on their turn five uh, here to give you a final score. But it is uh, a crushing victory here to the Blood Angels. Uh, they have slaughtered the Necrons here in this game. Okay, so final score then, uh, it's primaries has, has paid off here for Blood Angels, another 15 points picked up on turn 5, so 40 points in total for that. Engagement the fronts, another 3 points would have been picked up, so 11 points in total. Deploy Scramblers, would have used the Terminators for that just to get those 10 points coming in. Uh, and then Assassinate, uh, maxing out on 12 for that, so 73 points to Blood Angels in the end, good score from them. Uh, and then Starved of Primaries, 15 points picked up on turn 2, uh, and then 0 after that, so 15 uh, there for the Necrons. Purge the Vermin, uh, Blood Angels, just that constant relentless assault, uh, stopped that one mostly, 4 points picked up in total. Raise the Banners again, Necrons just didn't have time to build up the points for that, and Assassinate. Uh, the Blood Angels did lose a couple of characters but kept others alive so final score 29 points to 73 at uh, blood angels have the win here but they they've smashed into the necrons in this game uh, necrons have struggled to recover after that initial assault took place so that's the battle over we'll talk about units of the game next for both sides it's a chance to discuss the lists if you want to leave your own comments and suggestions by all means leave it in the comment section below suggestions for both armies uh, which direction both can take necrons have played some of their league games already blood angels uh, yet to play their first league game they're at the edge now poised and ready to go uh, to enter into our season nine league battle reports we'll talk about units of the game next here at the end of the battle all right, so units of the game for both sides. Tom's struggling to nominate a unit. What, what he'd rather pick gonna, yeah, is moment, moment, of, moment of the game, which is just the combined over the combined overwatch across there. It was yeah. mightily impressive just to wipe out that unit of five sanguinary guard. They were poised and ready to charge in and cause uh, trouble for the immortals, but they were saved by decent overwatch uh, covering firepower coming in. So. Uh, for the Blood Angels, honourable mention to the Assault Marines, uh, a great result for them as they moved across to take on Temera, a surprise attack that took place in wiping out the Scorpec Destroyers as well, so uh, well done to them. Uh, also honourable mention uh, to the Plasma Inceptors, a good debut from them, decent firepower support coming in uh, from those, and quite a durable unit as well, we saw the damage taken, uh, but with the help of the Sanguinary uh, Priest. Yeah, I know you're not 100% on the Sanguinary Priest, but I think with them... Yes. It takes quite a lot to kill a few of them, and even if there's one or two left alive and he can bring one back, I think it's, it's a big, big. Bonus. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, and, but we're going to give it to... Librarian Dragnet wasn't too bad either, but we're going to give it to the Sanguinary Guard. Again, they slaughtered all that they managed to contact in close combat. They're, they're a big threat on the table, and a unit that has enough attacks, enough damage coming through to take on larger units and bring them down. So we'll give unit of the game to the Sanguinary Guard uh, here. Uh, amplified with the help of the Captain, rerolling the ones, giving them plus ones to hit rolls and so on, just really making that unit quite scary on the battlefield but that's units of the game for both sides just mentioned the patrons at silver level they get their names shouted out at the end of our games so that's darren gardner denny wright my shield is discussed peter goodall and tc so big thanks to them for their support at silver level you can check out the end credits for all the names of those supporting uh, on patreon including those at bronze level 
uh, as well. A discussion for the comment section, actually. Is, yes. Is there a scarier unit in the game in close combat than Sanguinogar? And not even maxed out. That's a unit of eight. You can yeah. take a bigger unit. Yeah. yeah. Like, that combination is... Even if you... Yeah, even if you're charging that sort of thing into tough stuff... With, with the wound, the plus one to wound rolls. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Scary. Yeah, that's a scary unit for sure. And we may well see a, a fair display of them from other games as they come up. But that's the battle concluded here. Blood Angels have victory this time around. Necrons, no doubt, will uh, vow their revenge. And it may not be my army that's used. It could be Tom's army, which is geared up for close combat that we'll see take on. Uh, the Blood Angels in a future battle. But that's the game here concluded. Uh, more battle reports available on the Plus channel. And if you're not subscribed here already on YouTube, then do subscribe and hit the notification button as well to keep you posted on future games. Great battle. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.